But Tom Murray has now found new evidence for a fresh appeal. For the trial, Ford made a video to prove that even at full throttle, a driver could safely stop the car. There was no sound on the tape. Ford's own expert explained it only took about 20 pounds of braking pressure to bring the car to a halt. But last year, two years after the trial, Tom Murray discovered there was a soundtrack after all. That means you'd have to put 12 stone of pressure onto the brake pedal. That's beyond the strength of most women and many men. The discovery that Ford's own test showed how much brake pedal force was necessary really confirmed what we were already beginning to learn from one document after another that we were coming into possession of. And how would you sum up what that was? That Ford has been deliberately misrepresenting the truth about the design of its cruise control system. It has withheld the results of its own investigation from the government and from the courts. It has used uh, tactics of deception in the courts to deceive juries and judges and to deprive people of just compensation. He says the proof of that is buried in the mountain of Ford documents the company has been forced to hand over. They show that in the late 80s, so many people were complaining to Ford about runaway cars, the company set up its own investigation. Over three years, engineers examined almost 3,000 cases. And what did they conclude? That drivers must be hitting the accelerator instead of the brake. Ford cars were not to blame. Campaigners say that's ludicrous. You cannot possibly believe that Ford Motor Company has somehow managed to corner the market on dumb drivers who make mistakes. Our belief at the Center for Auto Safety is that it's the vehicle that's defective, not the driver. It's the sheer scale of incidents that's so convincing and makes the Ford study such a damning piece of evidence. The juries come in and they say, this must have been a driver error. That's the natural intuition of people. But when they see that this has happened to thousands of people and that the footprint is identical in each of these cases, uh, as is shown by the Ford's own investigation, then it becomes fairly straightforward from the jury's point of view. The Ford's own study is the difference between winning these cases and not winning them. And Ford